Welcome back. And to those that are new, thank you for coming in on by. And please consider hitting that subscribe as well as the notification bell. Today, we're going to take a look at the temperatures for black and blue after its recent water cool update. First of all, I want to show you the upgrade that I did. If you have not seen it from the video that I'm going to post up here, uh, that is just a bunch of B-roll of the upgrade that I did about a week ago. If you know anything about black and blue, I only had one radiator and that was the EK Phoenix series radiator. 280 which is right here it is still running the ek vardar fans what i added about a week ago was this xspc tx ultra thin radiator i'm running also the arctic pmw 12s uh, up top there's a little bit of a clearance uh, between that and the gpu uh, what I'm going to show you here is that there is very little negative effect with that particular uh, setup there. And I am actually very happy about those temperatures I'm seeing on the graphics card as well as the CPU. So let's take a look at those. As you can see, I have all the system temperatures. Some of these here are not actual uh, temperatures. They're just ghost readings uh, is what I've found online about this motherboard and some of those particular readings. So I'm getting really good temperatures off of here like I was before. Uh, here are the fans and what they're currently running at. Um, I have a interesting curve on the fan in the bios for the cpu matter of fact it's a little less a little less aggressive than what i do on the 240. so that is uh, basically how i'm running it everything is being exhausted up top i'm and so what i'm doing is pulling in air underneath as you can see here, the temperatures are sitting about 37, 38, 37 was the lowest. I was doing some work earlier on the computer, so it got up to about 48. Uh, here's what I was looking for, the voltage. I have a 0 0.08 offset, so that is definitely helping out on the temperatures. I was running this particular offset uh, before the upgrade and I was getting in the mid 40s uh, mostly and so I've gained about seven yeah about seven degrees with this upgrade also I'd like to mention that the uh, thermal paste I'm using Grizzly Cryonut so that may be helping out a little bit as well let's move down to the Vega 64 graphics card and as you can see it's running nice and chilly at uh, 26 between 26 and 27 the lowest it was after turning this on was 24 highest so far has been 27 there you have it those are the temperatures that I'm seeing idle maybe I should do a stress test on it too I'm a silly man. I should stress this, stress this test, stress test this also. So we're here at the desktop. Uh, as you can see, I already ran the test. Uh, we got a 7222 right up in here. Uh, I did not clear the men's maxes. So that's what I'm going to do just to give you a fair reference to what happened here. I also had to 
close the window because I live in a complex and they are uh, doing some lawn maintenance out there. So what I'm seeing here is about 39 to 40 degrees Celsius at the current value. Uh, minimum's been 39 since I reset it, as we can see right there, and max is 40. So let's run this test again and see what we get. I'm not going to do an average. Uh, we all know that averages are all fun and dandy and everything else, but at this point we are just wanting to see what kind of temps we're getting when we put a stress on it. I do have to say that it does not sound this loud when I'm playing games. And why that is, is that uh, it's keeping it nice and cool down in the low, low 60s, if not upper 50s. So it is, it keeps it really nice and cool. So where I don't get that complete ramp up. Okay, so we have uh, 69 degrees here and so let's zoom in on that and the score all right so as you can see we have a score of 7205 so it dropped uh, 20 20 points no big deal and then our max was 69 degrees. And as we said before, minimum was 39. And our ambient temperature is 77 degrees. As you can see, we're seeing really good temperatures uh, with this upgrade with the additional 240 uh, radiator and with those Arctic fans. So tell me what you think about this video. Hit that like button if you like this. Hit the subscribe as well as that notification bell. And this is Chris saying out.